Hello Taurus, welcome to my channel, Autumn and the Mage. This is a general reading in regards to love. We are starting here with the Queen of the Moon Oracle deck to get the overall energy for you. Okay, that's a lot of, <laughs> that's a lot of cards that came out. Well, these two came out first in, in a group together. Realization. Wow, and balance. So card number three, realization, which I actually don't think I've ever pulled before. So I'm going to pause to read that, sorry. And then <laughs> balance number 19. Okay, so we're going to put these together right here. And then the other two that came, oh, three of them, my goodness, are you kidding me? Number four, acceptance. Number 23, gratitude. And number 44, attraction. Um, wow. The, the all of this energy right here is so i mean every bit of this energy is is fantastic like really really great energy acceptance gratitude attraction and with acceptance with gratitude we attract i mean this is like this is the order accept things how they are accept things for how they've been you know whatever um this card here, this acceptance, feels a lot like the judgment card in tarot, which, by the way, is one of my favorite tarot cards, possibly my favorite, because in this card, we let go of blame, we let go of guilt, we let go of all of those negative emotions, we let go of anger and fear, and all of that is in the past, okay? Whatever made you feel, whatever those things are, whatever actions took place between you and another person, whatever they did, whatever you did, all of that is in the past and like we have to release ourselves from it if we continue to hold an emotion other than positivity and gratitude towards the past then the past continues to hold us back and so we have to accept it whatever it is that's the first step gratitude after acceptance we we find gratitude for that experience negative positive whatever it was Everything in the past has brought you to this moment, okay? Everything in the past has built you up to be who you are. And um, we have to be thankful for that. We have to have gratitude for that. When we can look at the past and see how that was necessary and see how that made us uh, the fantastic, beautiful, like creative, whatever person that we are, um, we can express gratitude for it. We, we are then grateful for it. And that releases us from it, number one. Uh, and number two, well, the acceptance releases us from it. The gratitude then pushes us forward. It, it sends us into the next step, okay, which is attraction, attracting what we want, pulling it in, you know. Um, all of this positive energy, we then open ourselves up and we start drawing in the things that we want. That is just so gorgeous. I can't even, I'm so excited for Taurus. This is so good. I wish this was my reading so far. <laughs> anyway, that's what we got there. Uh, I'm going to look up realization and balance real quick. Well, I mean about realization just for a sec. Hold on. It's actually really quite simple. It talks about, it's about self-realization and seeing um, your role, acknowledging your role in a situation. Okay. Um, yeah. So that's what that is about, like seeing the part you play and acknowledging that. And then balance, of course, is about balance. I really feel like this is, I don't know, I feel like Taurus is very balanced energy already, you know. Um, yeah, but balance is about, uh, you know, creating balance and, and, and holding it. Uh, and keeping it a part of your life, keeping all areas of your life balanced and keeping relationships in your life balanced. So, uh, yeah, see the role that you play. See yourself, you know, see, see, see the role you play and balance it out. And possibly this is something that you're already doing and that's leading you towards this uh, really great energy here, this acceptance, gratitude, and attraction. But that's so much to come out in the overall energy. Possibly this is two different people. Maybe one of you is on one part of this. Maybe this represents one of you and the other represents the other. Um, take it how it resonates for you. But Let's see here. We're going to take a look at the person you're connecting with and see how they feel about you, Taurus. How does this person feel about Taurus? Oh, my gosh. 
the the I did the Capricorn reading before before this reading, um, and I kept I kept saying I feel like this is like Queen of Swords energy, and it turns out that the Queen of Swords had flipped, and and I didn't see it. That's funny. And I shuffled this deck too. All right, we're gonna put that back. I don't think it's in really. I don't think it's in regards to your your uh, reading here. So, if if she comes back out, but let's see here. How does this person feel about Taurus, please? How does this person feel? They might be an air sign. Uh, the Queen of Swords is air, so that's um, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Okay, so we get the Two of Pentacles, which is a card of balancing, actually. In the Two of Pentacles, we're trying to keep everything balanced, so nothing, like, sinks, nothing, no, none of our ships sink, nothing, like, falls over, okay? Can we get more? How does this person, how does this person feel about Taurus, please? How does this person feel about Taurus? One more card. We got, oh, we, we already had three cards. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, we got the two of pentacles, which is about balancing. Okay. And it may be that they feel like they're struggling to keep balance. They're struggling to keep things. Yeah. In this card, it is about that struggle, you know, and sometimes it's hard, uh, but it is very much about trying to keep everything afloat, trying to keep everything okay, you know, everything above water. Uh, so th that sort of energy there. And um, it indicates that it's something they're trying to keep balance between you and something else. So sometimes that indicates there's another person. Uh, take that how that resonates, you know, if you if you are in that kind of connection. But it can also just mean like other aspects of their life, like uh, family or children or work, you know, but they are they're definitely trying to keep things balanced, trying to keep things level. All right. We also get the Hierophant here, which is your energy, okay, this is Taurus energy, but this is also wanting to move forward, wanting to continue to move, move upward and onward. The Hierophant um, wants to do things in the proper order. They don't just want to move up. They want to take the proper steps. They want to make sure that they're following what is right to them, okay, um, for the Hierophant. All of us have different, uh, all of us have different guides, you know, like what we think is the next step, what we think is right, whatever, um, whatever that is, each of us individually have our own way to define that in our own way to, um, well, yeah, and, and that often has to do with the people around us and, and our, you know, our family and our community and what they would accept as the next step forward. So sometimes that has something to do with it, you know, like that outside influence, making them want to make sure they follow the right steps. But really, this is about moving forward and moving forward in the right way. Okay. That's what this is about. Taking a next, taking the next step forward. Um, also, though, it is that desire to move forward. Why do I keep like emphasizing this? I'm not sure. We also get the chariot, which is cancer energy. Um, and this is also about forward movement. Both of these cards are about like moving forward, you know, uh, like continuation. But with the chariot, the destination is important. And how we get to that destination is, is you know, not so important, okay? I just know I want to get here, and whatever it takes for me to get here is fine, which I find interesting next to the Hierophant, who has very clear steps he wants to take, you know? But they're very, they want to take steps forward. They definitely, there's a lot of, like, forward-moving energy here. Uh, yeah, th there's this desire to move forward.
I don't know. I just, I just thought you're not looking at that correctly uh, with, with the hierophant, and maybe that's why I keep thinking that. That's why I kept repeating over and over again uh, with the hierophant. If you imagine yourself, yourself self stepping into this energy, it could be that they feel like they're taking the right steps. It could be that, yeah, that they feel like they're moving forward in the proper way. If you, if we're, cause we're, we're asking how they feel about you, right? And the Hierophant is about forward movement and that desire to, to lift ourselves and enlighten ourselves. But if they feel this way, then it could be that they feel like they're taking the right steps. They feel like they're doing it properly. They also really want to push forward. They feel this desire to move towards a destination that they are very committed to. The Chariot is very dedicated to that, to that destination, you know, um, they're locked in and they're on this ride and however it looks, it's okay, you know, but also feeling like they, they're taking the right steps. But we also have the tower card here, uh, which was the last one to come out. And the tower is about change and it, feeling like something is changing or feeling like some kind of massive change has happened. The tower is, is generally quite large. It's quite big and um, it's a shift and sometimes it's out of our control um, but sometimes it's really shocking but it is definitely a shift and there's something yeah they feel like there's been some kind of change here and that might have been a surprising change for them or um, it might have been something they didn't anticipate like they didn't see it coming but there's been a they feel like there's been a drastic change okay Let's go ahead now and look at what they want, what they're hoping for with you, Taurus. What is this person hoping for with Taurus? What is this person hoping for? What are they hoping for with Taurus, please? just kind of a little messy is all. There's a lot of cards here. We get the five of cups, which is a card of sadness. It's someone who's looking back and they're disappointed. Uh, maybe they feel, uh, they feel to blame for things not working. Okay. With the five of cups here, but for what they want to be, to be sad and to be, that doesn't really make sense. But then we also get the four of pentacles, which is holding on tight to something. Okay. Not letting something go. The three of swords, which is heartache and the four, uh, I'm sorry, the knight of wands, which is, you know, that the knight of wands is, is passionate energy. It's, this is such an interesting mix. I wonder if they're unsure. I wonder if they're unsure what they want <laughs> because this mixture here is so cold, hot, cold, hot, you know, like, and the, the four of pentacles isn't even hot. It's just, it's, it's, it's almost like, well, it's possessive. Okay. Um, not letting go, not wanting to release something. Okay. And then the knight of wands, this is, this is passionate energy. This is like heat. Okay. Uh, but then we have heartache here and both of these cards really are heartache both i'm sorry i don't i just looked down and saw that there was a glare here so maybe you can't see what i'm pointing at but the five of cups and the three of swords are both cards of heartache and, and sadness and in the five of cups regret okay and the three of swords it's just straight up heartache um and the four of pentacles here like i said that's possessiveness and not wanting to let go like holding very tightly to something and then also the knight of wands which is that that drive that passion the knight of wands is uh, a seeker you know a hunter really um they're fueled by by hunger and by a fire and they want to like feed that hunger feed that fire so it's a very like i'm gonna get it kind of energy so wow that's interesting i i feel like maybe they aren't sure and that's why we're, because I can't think of another reason why we'd have both positive and negatives here. 
So hopefully that resonates for you. Maybe they're unsure. Hmm. Let's see here. The next question we're going to ask is how can you help them? What, what is something, what can Taurus do to help this person? Uh, reach their goal or in this case, maybe help them realize what they, what it is that they hoping that they're hoping for. How, how can Taurus help this connection? How can they help this person? Page of Wands and the Ten of Cups. So the Page of Wands is a very excited energy. Okay, the page is kind of youthful energy. But as far as um, like advice to you, this would be like, this is a message. This is a statement. Like embrace... Um, the page of wands is like right before the knight of wands so it's like a step down from the knight and the knight is the hunter you know really charging after what they want and the the page is like learning that okay they're learning that and they're moving towards that so if you can imagine what a step down from that might be but also pages represent messengers often and so it may be that you need to state something uh, and this is about what's driving you forward, what's driving you forward. And about oh, your excitement and uh, your hopes, you know, it really is about your hopes. And it may be like expressing that hope. Uh, we also get the Ten of Cups, okay? And the Ten of Cups talks about a place of balance. In the Ten of Cups, you express yourself emotionally. They express themselves emotional and emotionally, and it's all just accepted. Whatever it is, it's just uh, there's just gratitude and, and comfort and safety in this card. Okay, everyone's just expressing themselves emotionally. So it, it can be to like create that kind of space here with this person, uh, allow them to express themselves emotionally uh, and also express yourself. When you do that, when you express your, you, when you open your heart in that way, when you express it, it, other people just do it in reaction. They Sometimes they don't even realize that they're being compelled to do it. But when you do it, you create a space, a safe space, and then they feel comfortable to do it too. So it may be that that's what this is calling for, like to create that space. Um, if that's not it, then to accept whatever their emotions are. Like this is about appreciation, okay? And it's about, yeah, that safety. This really stands out for safety, emotional safety in my mind. Let's see here. What can Taurus do to help themselves? What's something Taurus can do to help themselves here? What they want. What can they do to achieve what they want in this connection? What advice would you give them? What actions can they take? Ooh. What advice would you give Taurus? For themselves interesting so the one that flew out here was the nine of pentacles uh, and this is about your own stability this is also about independence okay and uh, it, it's about strengthening yourself in the nine of pentacles we we don't need anything from anyone uh, like we're talking this is about possessions this is about because we I mean we all need love but um, even that, when you're walking into a connection, like not needing anything from that person, just appreciating them and just like being, um, being yourself and just allowing them to like be a part of your life. That is really the, the healthiest way to go about it, in my opinion. But the nine of pentacles is about self. And so this is saying like, focus on, on strengthening yourself, you know, becoming who, who it is, whatever would make you feel like you have what you need to, to offer something more. It, um, and this advice might not even re re have anything to do with this person because we're asking about you pursuing, we're asking how do you achieve what you want to achieve. And it, and the advice is focus on uh, 
on you, on building yourself up, you know, on uh, creating the world that you want for yourself. Because in the nine of pentacles, this person has everything they need except a partner, okay? They don't have their partner, but they have everything else around them. And uh, it is about being independent, possibly being single, but definitely about strengthening yourself, okay? We also, though, get the Eight of Wands, which is about communication and forward movement. And so this is saying, like, push yourself forward. This is a do it card. This is get it done. You know, no more sitting around waiting for it to happen. Just do it. Okay. Make the action. Uh, move yourself forward. Very like a push kind of energy here. Take the action. And it might also refer to uh, something you may need to say. You may need to communicate something. The Eight of Wands is very much a communication card, saying something. Oh, we have the Queen of Cups underneath the deck. And this is, a, oh, and the Lovers, wow. And the Page of Pentacles. So um, this is like underlying energy for this here, this um, like empowerment with the Nine of Pentacles there in the communication and forward movement. And underneath that energy is the, the Queen of Cups. This is acceptance. I mean, look at look at how she she's just opening herself up to receive, you know, and it, whatever it is, it is. This is a very accepting kind of energy, very um, compassionate, very understanding, okay? And then also the lovers, which is about a choice. It's about following your heart, you know, trust in your heart enough to follow it, open yourself up and follow that, whatever that looks like for you, okay? But underneath this is, is this compassion and this understanding and this really love, okay? We're going to go now to Oracle cards. This first deck here, uh, I'd like to use to kind of uh, specify more on what you can do to help this person. Like what, what can Taurus do for this person they're connecting with? Okay. The card that fell out right away, Flux. I don't even know how to say that. I've never gotten this one before. Uh, unanimity in harmony. He who lives in harmony with himself lives in harmony with the universe. Interesting. I feel like I'm saying that word wrong, but I don't even know how you would say it a diff different way. In harmony. I'm going to, I actually, I've already paused the video to read a card, but I'm going to do that again because I want to know what that, what the book says on that. Just a second. Oh, well, that's quite simple. It says that you should work with them. Uh, that's what, and balance it. Like, uh, now I want to tell you exactly what it said because it talks about how it takes more than one, you know? One single flower does not make a bouquet. One voice alone cannot create harmony. It's amazing what you can accomplish when you work in unity, combining the flames of your own passion with others' energy and talents. So, I mean, it feels like they're saying, you know, work with them, work with this person. We also got honeysuckle, which says domestic happiness and devoted affection. Uh, and when this came out, it came out, uh, I don't know, the way that it came out, I just felt like it might not apply to everybody. So just take it if it resonates for you. Domestic happiness and devoted affection. Honeysuckle. Now I want to read this one too. I'm just going to read it to you. It's, they're very short anyway. So bring your best self to the relationships that are the closest to your heart. Even the well-established bonds of affection still need mindful tending to thrive. Thoughtfulness, support, and kind words go a long way towards maintaining a happy home life. So, yep, that's saying focus on those connections that are uh, very important to you, you know, the, the ones that are the most important to you, and um, strengthening them and fostering them. Let's go ahead and we're going to get basic general advice for you here in regards to love. This deck here. So 
so many cards. You just keep getting the Oracle cards just want to say everything to you today. We have happiness. If happiness is what you want, then happy you shall be. That's cute. When you have to, you have to create, I mean, if happiness is what you want, you have to acknowledge it in your life. You have to see it in your life and, and, and then you will be happy. Okay. Um, so yeah, but also surround yourself in things that make you happy. If you are surrounded in something that doesn't feed that joy for you, feed the happiness for you, then put it aside, you know, um, focus on what makes you happy. Also, just be, be grateful for what you have because that creates happiness in your life. Rejuvenation, rejuvenate your mind, body, and spirit with a fresh and renewed approach to life. And this really is uh, about giving new life to something. And so there's something here about um, creating new life. Okay. We're asking about, we, we really were asking about uh, advice for, for a relationship or, or in regards to love. So perhaps you need to like light a fire, you know, like spark, create a new spark in your connection. Uh, sanctuary with a calm, focused mind and enjoyment of each moment, you create your very own sanctuary, which again, it feels like an emphasis on like appreciating what you have, appreciating what is there. This 10 of cups does that same thing. The 10 of cups is the same as a similar message. Appreciate, um, like appreciate what you have, focus on what's there and, and, and strengthen it and create that safety within it, you know? Last, we have vitality. Vitality is the beaming force that gives energy and vigor to life. Um, so that is like that passion. This this page of wands here, um, that's that fire, you know, and letting it feed you, letting it, letting it propel you forward. Vitality, though, also has to, I feel like there's something about youth there. Um, and maybe you need to like, um, if there are children in your life, like allowing them to play a role in like feeding you, uh, in, in their, their vitality. Children are so youthful. They're so like excited. And so it might have to do with that, but also maybe it's just about like returning to your own, um, what what i don't know there's about something about childhood and and like your own youth and maybe what your ideas were and what uh whatever inspired you then let it inspire you now you know like turn back and look at that possibly take that how that resonates for you so last deck here which is the motivation manifesto we have three cards life can lose its vibrant aura 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 or why did I say that? I don't know why, but vibrant. It made me think of the vitality card. I mean, you know, vibrance. But anyway, life can can lose its vibrant aura and charm if we do not bend the energy of our minds towards positive engagement and appreciation, which, I mean, has come out so many times already, you know. Focus on what brings you joy and enjoying the moment and all of that. And that will... Uh, increase the charm and the vibrancy of your life, okay? Reality can be shaped and changed by my direct actions, and so I will act with consistency to forge my ideal life. And, uh, you know, what you want, you have to work to keep, and what you want, you have to work to get, and, and constantly, you know? So if, if you are surrounded by what you want already, you have to work to keep it there. You have to keep giving it energy. You have to keep feeding it, you know? And if you aren't surrounded by what you want, if there's something else that you want, then you need to redirect your energy you need to focus it on you need to redirect your energy and your actions okay uh, to uh, towards that something else whatever it is okay because reality can be shaped and changed it can be what you want it to be it really can be whatever it is you want it to be so make it so by acting in a way that 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 feeds it okay Last, we have, we are to be radiant, grateful, buoyant people. Once again, with that positive energy, with that vibrance, and also uh, gratitude, the, this radiant, vibrant, vitality, all of these words of like, 
I don't know, almost like a glowy kind of message. And it's like you're being called to to step into that. I don't know. <laughs> I uh, Taurus is the ones that I know, and I actually know quite a few Tauruses. Uh, Taurus, Taurus, and anyway, they are uh, all very stable, all very chill, all very, like, very calm. I would not describe them necessarily as, like, that, that I'm not, I don't mean it in any kind of mean way, because they're all very great people. Okay. I adore them. Well, I can think of one that I would call vibrant, but for the most part, they're, they're very, um, just very stable and very, uh, I don't know if, if you can imagine what I'm trying to say here. Okay. <laughs> but this is almost like turning it up a notch, like, like increasing the volume, um, uh, lighting you up, you know, and there's like, I don't know, a call for that. Maybe you need to turn up the volume, Taurus. <laughs> like light your fire, let it let it really blaze for a minute here, you know, and, and so that you can push for what you want in, in this moment, you know? Anyway, that's what I have for you, Taurus. Oh, I just looked at the clock. It's a 31 minute video. I'm so sorry, but thank you for watching if you're still here. I really appreciate it, but I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it resonated for you. And um, if you did like it, please do like the video. Post a comment below if you would like, if you feel comfortable with that. Uh, if you have not already, please do consider subscribing. That puts my videos in your feed so you don't have to like seek them out directly. <laughs> uh, but either way, thank you for watching. I do really appreciate it. And I wish you luck in this and anything that you're working on. And I hope I see you back here again next week. Bye.